A very good morning to all of you. Welcome to ANB exam forum. So in the conceptual series, we are now bringing a new session in set theory and today topic of discussion would be Venn diagram. Student, this Venn diagram is also a topic in logical reasoning. Okay. And in this session, we are going to see as a part of mathematics, not logical reasoning. Okay. So without wasting any time, let's begin the session. So as I told you earlier that there should be a motive and this is a motive that in the previous year questions of different competitive examination, not railway, we have seen question 1 to 2 from this particular topic. Okay. So as you can see, there are two questions which we have shown you. Okay. Some question have come in 2013 and this uh, they have put in 2007. Okay. So the question can be a numerical based or some diagram based. Okay. Based on this diagram, you need to answer the question and basically these questions are very easy. You can easily attempt those questions and get one or two mark at least for sure. Okay. So let's uh, begin what exactly is a Venn diagram. Okay. So in set theory, basically Venn diagram are used to show a relationship between set. Okay. So we have already defined what exactly is a set, uh, what are the different operation, what are the different type of set. So in order to relate those set, we need and to show certain relationship diagram are always useful. Okay. So, so there are certain notations uh, like for rectangle, it represent the universal set. So this rectangle represent the universal set. It is denoted by letter U and the circle represent the subset of U. Okay. Basically these are the sets. Okay. Circle represent the sets and in this set you will find certain element. These are called element or member whatever you can say and uh, obviously there will be certain element in universal which are not part of set. Okay. So those kind of relation you can put in this Venn diagram and uh, student you should know that this Venn diagram are named after English logician uh, whose name was John Venn who has basically made this uh, relationship diagram which is also known as Venn diagram. Okay. So let's see one by one different Venn diagram. So as we have uh, covered various operation in the previous uh, session. So like A union B represent this colored portion. Okay. This whole colored portion represent A union B. Okay. This blue portion represent A union B. Okay. I will not define what exactly is A union B. You can watch uh, in the previous session where we tell you everything about union operation. The next is intersection. So there is certain common part between these two set A and B that is denoted by this symbol. It is known as intersection. This common area is known as intersection area. Okay. It means that this portion belongs to A as well as B. Okay. Can anybody tell me what exactly is this uh, A and B represent? Okay. So those who have seen our previous video, they can tell that these are called disjoint set. Okay, disjoint set. Disjoint set means there is nothing common in between them. Okay. So these uh, are called disjoint set and where we have seen A intersection B is equal to a null set. Okay. So there are no common element between these two. This is uh, denoted by disjoint set. Okay. Coming to the other operation like A minus B. So this light shaded blue portion represent A minus B and we have already seen this portion is known as intersection A intersection B whereas the other portion represent B minus A. What does this B minus A? All those elements which are member of B but not of A are in this particular zone. Okay. So these are the four diagrams that you should understand. Okay. And the next formula which I am going to tell you in few minutes, you should learn by heart student because these formula are used to solve the practical problem on union and intersection. Okay. 
most of you already know this formula but still for the sake of completeness uh, we are telling you so just remember there are three finite set like a b and c and since there are finite set there will be a number of elements so this n represent the number of element in a union b okay so in practical problem you will find certain numbers like uh, there are two classes where the total number is this much okay you need to find the common one what are the number in set a set b all those question can be asked in the exam okay so the relation is that a union b is number of element in a plus number of element in b minus a intersection b okay this is very important so a union b means uh, you can think like that so we have represented a union b like this so we have completed all the element in a that represent n a this the other one this represent n b but this shaded portion we have considered two times so that's why we are subtracting one intersection from that okay so this is how this formula got derived okay and if there is a disjoint set then there will be no common element in that case you will have formula like n a plus n b okay so if we have three elements uh, what would be the formula this is the formula so if you have three elements three sets basically so the formula just remember individual sets number of element in individual set then minus a intersection like you can see from here a intersection b then a intersection c then b intersection c subtract the common portions because you have included uh, one extra time if you make diagram you can easily understand and in that you need to add all the elements which are common to all the sets so this portion basically you need to add because from these three operations you are subtracting one and hereby you are ignoring this portion so that's why we are adding this intersection portion into that okay so these two formula are very important uh, you should learn by heart okay so that's it so we have seen uh, two formulas and the concept of Venn diagram in the upcoming session we will be presenting previous year questions on each of the topic that we have seen in the conceptual class okay and there are certain other videos in our playlist that is in a given in description box so you can have a look on that so thank you for watching and if you like this video you can hit a like button or subscribe to our channel thank you for watching have a nice day